Hey y'all, Jeremy from Black Collar Arms here, one of the co-owners. I wanted to do a video to announce a new product that we're going to be retailing. It is not a Black Collar Arms product. It's an AB Suppressors product. And the reason we're going to be selling this and recommending it is because we've been pushing 375 Raptor for a little over a year now. Um, maybe pushing isn't exactly the right word. It's not really the wrong word either, but we don't have any stake in 375 Raptor. We just found this cartridge fell in love with this cartridge. Uh, Arna Brennan, the same guy who did uh, 6.5 Grendel, developed 375 Raptor. And after we saw it, learned about it, and shot it for the first time, absolutely fell in love. We've been building guns in 375 Raptor. We want to see it become way more popular. It is the big brother to 300 Blackout. If you're looking for a short action size, a 308 size, an AR-10 sized cartridge, that is great for supersonic and subsonic bullets, hunting, basically any game in North America. I mean, people have taken Cape Buffalo and all sorts of stuff with it, all the way down to deer and little feral hogs and everything. Um, it's fantastic. It is just such an awesome, practically universal use cartridge with bullets from 185 grains up to 400 or 450 grains subs. Such an efficient powder burn, blah, blah, blah. So we've had a lot of customers buying guns in 375 Raptor and a lot of them ask us, well, what suppressor should I use? Because there aren't a lot of cans out there that'll take a 375 caliber bullet. Some of them are just gigantic. They're made for much bigger guns and bigger cartridges. So that's why we, after testing a bunch of the ones that work on 375 Raptor, decided that we like the AB Suppressors Raptor the best. And it's a total coincidence that this thing is called the Raptor, the model name of the suppressor, has nothing whatsoever to do with why we decided that we like this one the best. Uh, just happens to perform the best for our purposes. So what we're going to be doing is carrying a 375 bore AB Suppressors Raptor in the eight stack, which we found is the best configuration for barrels from like 10 inches on up with a three inch reflex section. This works on all of our guns with the 12 inch barrel. Now, one cool thing about the AB Suppressors cans, the Raptors, is that the reflex section is a separate module. So I can take this off on a gun where maybe there's not enough room for the reflex or you just don't need it or whatever and run a flush fitting mount. So they've got flush mounts obviously in different thread sizes. And uh, these are all titanium. They are extremely lightweight suppressors. They have a very unique baffle design inside that makes them shockingly quiet and also just really, really efficient. Not bad on back pressure at all. They're rated for sort of shorter barrels and maybe slightly heavier use than you might expect considering such a lightweight all titanium can. What I'm gonna do today is show how universal a 375 board suppressor is. So let's go ahead, start off doing what we are carrying this and recommending it for, which is shooting on 375 Raptor, supers and subs. And then I'm gonna throw it on some other guns and just show you how awesome a 375 bore suppressor is. Go to blackcollararms.com, obviously, if you wanna pick these guys up. 375 Raptor pork sword pistol with a carbon fiber BSF barrel. As you can see on a 12 inch barrel, whether it's this one or one of the black collar arms match grade barrels, this three inch reflex goes just in front of the handguard. So we've basically made it as long as it can be and that's why we're selling it in this configuration. I have this guy loaded up with 270 grain soft points. And this is a hard hitting round from a 12 inch barrel. We've got about 2200 feet per second from a 270 grain bullet. Nice. For comparison, that's only a little bit, like 50 feet per second slower than a 308 shooting 185 grain bullet is. But we're setting a 275. Awesome. I hear most of the sound coming off of the hills. Not so much for me at the shooter. Totally comfortable. Perfect for hunting. Let's switch to some 400 grain Maker Bullet subs. That right there is a subsonic expanding solid copper bullet from Maker Bullets. 400 grain subsonic 375 Raptor. I've only loaded up two of these trying to save them. Don't have a lot at the moment. Oh yeah. That is just awesome. Nice. <laughs> it's a little louder than like 300 Blackout, but not a whole lot. Speaking of 300 Blackout, see how this sounds on that. The Raptors come with an aluminum tool. 
has uh, wrench flats on the back, but just handy for doing it by hand. Tighten that down. Front cap's also removable. Now, I've got my personal SBR that I built a really long time ago with a, I think an eight inch barrel because the gas block is so close to the end of the barrel, I can't run the reflex. So I've gone ahead and put the flush mount on the back. As you can see, a very compact can. And holy cow, this thing is light. 1.635 inches in diameter. Just fits inside of this carbon fiber handguard. Yes, the gun is empty. There we go. And that is a cool look. Eight stack Raptor just sticking out the end there. And we'll see how she sounds on some subsonic 300 blackout. Nice. There's some noticeable first round pop, and that is in part because of the much bigger bore. But after that, this is just about as quiet as any 300 blackout suppressor you're going to find. Awesome. Over to another personal gun. This is a CZ557 with a 16 inch barrel. Wanted to show something with a sort of a more traditional rifle length barrel, I guess. It's a 308. Put the reflex section back on. As you can see, it fits great on this guy. And we're gonna do three rounds of 168 grain standard supersonic hunting ammo. And then I've got two rounds of 308 subs from Discrete Ballistics loaded up. Let's see how this 375 bore suppressor sounds on a 308. Yeah, totally comfortable. Sounds very good. Nice. I'm holding the magazine because this thing just doesn't feed very well unless I'm pushing up on the bottom. Now we should be into the subs. Wow. That is awesome. Just so quiet. Basically 308 sub, same thing as a 300 blackout sub. The addition of that reflex section makes it just a little quieter. Switch to an AR-15. One last personal gun to throw into the mix. This is a Brownells BRN-180 complete setup. It's a 10 and a half inch 5.56, so very, very short. I put in some plugs just because it's loud on an AR no matter what suppressor you're shooting with all of this noise that comes out of the action and 10 and a half inch, blah, blah, blah. I used a 1 half by 28 to 5 8 24 thread adapter so I can run the Raptor on the end with the flush mount. Let's go ahead, see how this bad boy sounds. Nice. Sounds very quiet to me with plugs in, that's for sure. Hopefully the sound of this comes across on the video. Great to have a big bore suppressor that can work on just about everything. Just for science, sacrificing myself for y'all. Yeah, okay. That sounds like the 5.56 cans that I've shot on this setup multiple times. I think I've had three different cans on the front. Sounds pretty much the same. It's not comfortable, but it's not painful. So can you run your 375 Raptor from AB Suppressors that you bought from Black Collar Arms on an AR? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Now this next clip, I filmed this a couple of weeks ago. I think you're gonna like it. Now check this out. One cool thing about doing a 375 board can is that you can run it on nine millimeters. So I've got a CMMG upper here with like a four and a half inch barrel. I put the flush mount on the Raptor. Now we can run the 375 Raptor can on a nine mil. Dan, hop on in here. This is all you, sir. Uh, this is Dan, managing editor from The Truth About Guns. So maybe pop off a couple semi-auto and then we've got a third position on this guy. Boy, yeah. All right, switch it to fun. Lean Giggle. into it. Just dump it all. <laughs> yeah. That is about as fun as it gets. That's pretty quiet. For a nice big bore that will take up to a 375 bullet, it sounds good on 9mm. The only thing that will make you cry is the cost of the ammo right now. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was just going to have Dan shoot this, but I mean, come on. <laughs> oh, 
awesome. That is so quiet. It sounds really good. And there's no blowback. Part of that is because of the delayed blowback in this thing, but also part of it is the generous bore size in the suppressor and just the design of it. It's uh, one of the quieter ones that I've shot on this setup. Uh, awesome. Love it. Find it on our website. <laughs> Man, that nine millimeter sub gun is a lot of fun. And it's so cool to take your rifle can and run it on all of these different things. So blackcollararms.com suppressors. We've got the AB suppressors 375 Raptor for 375 Raptor, but you can use it on a bunch of different stuff. Our kit is about a grand. It comes with the three inch reflex section and the flush mount and everything you see here, plus the tool, plus the end cap. Thanks for joining us guys. See you next time.